Yeah, they brought me this 87 Monte Carlo. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, redo the whole hydraulic system on this one. It has a piston to the front, 10 uh, batteries total, Odysseys. I don't know if you can see right there. Heavy ass batteries though. And then 14s. So yeah, the customer brought this one in because having issues with this car, <clears throat> not being, not hopping right, burning motors, blowing seals and whatnot. So whoever worked on it before, I don't know what they did to it. So I told him bring it, drop it off, and uh, I'll see what I can do. Look over it. I had a piston pump. I sold them. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, oh yeah, on this one, the piston tank is all. All the walls are gazed up, scratched, and I do remember him telling me that <clears throat> one time this uh, piston pump did get stuck, and it uh, put the piston in the bind, grazing the whole wall on this one. So I had an extra piston that I was, you know, put together. He bought it, and I'm gonna put that one in here. Gonna redo all of this mess. So yeah. Yeah, he has a little bit of weight on it, but like I said, since he got the car back, it hasn't even got a foot off the ground. So hopefully, you know, get all the bugs worked out of this one and go from there. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and um. See what I can do, man. See, help them out as much as I can with the knowledge that I have and go from there. See. Ya. So on this uh, Monte Carlo, I'm installing the helper springs on it. If y'all don't know what they are, look at one of my other videos and uh, shit, go from there. But the helper springs, you know I mean? This one right here, it has some weight. You know, with the lower ones, being reinforced with all that extra metal and weld then of course with the spindles and all that but um what i'm getting at is this one came already with the square tubings on top and bottom he didn't have anything on there he didn't have no strap or chains a lot of people like to put chains but there are some hoppers out there that use straps so you don't hear all that chain movement clinkering and all that crap and it's quieter but on this one I'm doing a helper springs because I mean, you know, it's trying to hop. On the helper springs, it helps to dump it and it helps you um, gain inches on the measuring stick. So this side, I left it alone so you kind of see. But uh, we're on this one. So I got three of them on here. Each one is uh, 18 point eight pounds I believe so right here is like 56 pounds that is sucking up and holding but just to give you an idea you know it still takes some force to bring it down but yeah and the fun thing is this one has three mine my regal I got about four or five so you gotta put your foot down in there and push this sucker down in order for me to pop that spring in. And trust me, it's a two-man job. Because, shit. This one has three. So, like I said, it's 56 pounds. So, you know, it, it's still going to have to use some force to pop that spring in there. But that's the good thing about these. It prevents, kind of like a chain as well. It prevents from the spring and everything else from popping out. On mine, I have my spindle break on one of my videos and my spring and everything was still intact. Why? Because I got, I believe, four or five. I know I have five, but I think I ended up going to four and it, it held it in place. I mean, I, that's, what I, that's another thing I like about them because you don't have to worry about adding a chain from the spring popping out. These just, 
it does just uh, as good as it. And it helps it, like I said. On the 8X dump, you don't really need it. But, I mean, everything helps. These, I would use them on a regular dump. You know, to help it out. Help all that fluid go back in the tank faster. But, yeah. You know, still in the works. Still waiting on a few more parts. And then I can start doing the front again.